Hi, this is Rahul Dhawan. So today I will be showing you how to set up a Grafana dashboard uh, starting from scratch like installing and all other stuff. So let's jump into the video. First step will be to install the Grafana. So let's do that. So for installing the Grafana in any type of boot images like Ubuntu, Linux, Mac, Windows. Uh, so you have to go to first this website grafana.com and there you can go to installation. And there like for me it's Mac OS so I will be going on install on Mac OS. So just go there. So after going there you can just brew in you can just type brew install grafana and then after installing that just say brew service start grafana so after this you will have your grafana on your local host and that's that's to running so for me it's already done so i'm not doing this step for you you have to do so after this you have in grafana installed in your pc so after installing this uh let's see how it's look like for that just so after starting the services it will be in local host so you have to type local host and the port number is 3000 just do that so now you are in your uh, grafana page home page but if, if in start it ask for your users and password the for currently and initially it's admin and admin you can just go and type that and if it won't you want to reset the password you can also reset the password there so after going there you can add any number of things like so this is how the grafana ui looks like so this will show you the home page where you can explore all the dashboard that you have and if you go to into manage then there you will have your all the root folders all the folders and where you want to store that and another is like playlist and snapshot that will be looking later so let's see how to make now the new dashboard so for that just click here so it will be showing like this so you can add any query and choose any visualization or so first of all like let's let's name our dashboard so something uh for that just go to settings uh not settings so that so for that just go to dashboard second that that was general settings so you can name your as like first dashboard suppose and make it save and now you can add so you so there is a button so for from after clicking here you can add any number of visualization so for that you have to add query so here there is like two types of query here so you can also so this is like very like uh so for, for those like who don't understand sql they can use this but otherwise you can go to edit sql and work here so uh, I just came back from that because we didn't add any database to Grafana. So for that we have to add that. I already had but I didn't do any query. For the new user you can ha how to add that I will show you. So for that just go to general setting and just do data sources. So just discard this. So you can add data source here any anything that you have like from sql from cloud you can also have and you can have from influx so suppose you want to add from mysql so you just gave your host name database name users and password and the save and test okay okay so i am just deleted because i already had this so now we will go to manage and our first admin so now we will add so so i i suppose you add those so here you can write any query okay so i'm just writing that so suppose i just want to count 
uh, how many rows are there in my table so I, I have just table name reasons but if you see their format as time series and table now I am getting error found no column name time because the, the the visualization that I chose is like based on time so I need a time column but I am just counting so for that I need to select it as a table so now I can just have a number without a time name now if you see there are like no nothing I can see here so for that what I have to do is like I have to change our visualization like there are so many visualization and you can add more so it's just a number so I can have there single stat okay so now you see it's showing as 12 and there is one more thing you can add you can like you can name your panel as anything now I am just saying number of rows or you can add any metadata also like it will show us number of records okay so this this is the thing so if you go back now you have it okay so number of rows is coming as well okay so this is the first panel that you had in your dashboard so now let's add another panel suppose you want to create histogram but as we know histogram in so let's create histogram not to confuse you let's create histogram uh, okay so make it as table and edit as SQL because I just think like you don't have a time time column if you have time column then you can just make it as time series or you will make it as time table no problem okay so just add it as select now as a time if you don't I if you don't have uh, that I what I said if you don't have time column then you can use now as a time now as a time and you can take any so suppose i i have something called in my name as uh from reason so suppose you want to check any 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 columns count at specific amount of time by visualization only so you can just go there and put your column rescheduled how many time it rescheduled okay so we can have this here only grafana but uh, if you see it's coming here 7.25 so i came back and you see it's coming i just take the average of that and we have number of rows here so like this you can add like as many panels as you have can and like we will look into more specific dashboards and new ideas in grafana in the next video so till then goodbye and take care please like and subscribe